Hello, Unity Bay Area, Houston. It's Reverend Curdy Cesarato. And um, why don't we start today off with a uh, prayer? So if everyone would just take a minute and center yourself in the divine presence, the divine air that we live and breathe in knowing that all good is here and now. And I know this good. I know this good in my, my cells. I feel it in my health and wholeness. I appreciate every aspect of my body that moves and flows and the blood cells. And I say, thank you, thank you. I am so grateful for all of the health and wholeness that is mine. And in all areas of my life, I see and feel the abundance, the divine parts of me, the divine parts of me that I bring out into expressions into the world and the people I am around, the people that I interface with, the people that I affirm pray for. I know they feel my love energy as I feel there. And so I say thank you. Thank you to spirit, divine mind, universal, all that I am a co-creator. I am a co-creator. I am. And so it is. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for that prayer, praying with me. So we're talking about an abundant life. And I want to read you this line from uh, The Science of Getting Rich. God is the creative power. And I'm going to change some of these words. To, okay. God is the creative power, or the impelling force, which causes the creative power to act, Thinking in a certain way will bring abundance to you. But, we have that but. But you must not rely upon thought alone. Pay no attention to personal action. So, part of our five unity principles is we are co-creators with God. But through our thoughts, our words, and our actions, our thoughts, words, and actions. So we do need to move our feet. We need to move our feet towards whatever the abundant living is that we are manifesting. As we change our thoughts, we need to act and be that person. We need to mostly allow Allow that goodness into our lives. And this is an interesting thing. If any of you might be struggling a little bit with financial abundance, it's good to think, what do you feel? What do you feel deep down at the core? Do you maybe feel that rich people are selfish? Do you feel maybe that, oh, I should never spend money on myself. I should never take that trip. I should be giving it to charity or um, something. Do you feel that you might not be worth whatever the, the abundant supply is coming to you? Because once you allow your hands to be open, this allows you to help serve and also to receive, also to receive. And so when I talk about action, talk about taking steps, part of that action is to act 
in a certain way. And acting in a certain way is knowing your abundance. And we are talking about a pledge drive. So acting a certain way is tithing in that you know the abundant universe you will get. And whatever way you decide to pledge, I personally find it, for me, that I like to give a certain percentage because I know that I am sharing. As my husband Joe always says, it's not our money, it's God's money. Well, anytime we give, we will receive. We will receive. And I know you've heard it a million times because you guys are more of our long-time unity people. Um, but what, when you give, you will receive. If you are giving financially, what you receive, though, may not look like what you think it would. You might think, oh, I'm going to get a check in the mail. No, you might get um, a incredible, incredible flight that comes to you. You've always wanted to go to, let's say, where have you wanted to go to? Um, I'd like to go to, let's say you want to go to the Fiji Islands. And all of a sudden you see this amazing, amazing uh, discount to the Fiji Islands then that has come back to you, hasn't it? Yes, because you're going on that trip to the Fiji Islands. So your thoughts create, and you want to move in ways that allow the universe to give to you. And part of that is knowing your worthiness, your divinity, your your conscious thought that supply is abundant, that you don't have to compete with that person. Let's say you're trying to sell your home. It doesn't matter that there might be all these other homes for sale, okay? You, because this is an abundant universe. There, there doesn't need to be any, any competition. And whatever endeavor that you go after, you have to remember you are divinely you. And so you will bring whatever out that only you can bring out. Um, I was reading a book um, by Maria Forleo, and I really like this about it. So sometimes we hear of people, maybe they want to be, they want to uh, be personal coaches, or maybe they want to start a restaurant, or maybe they, they just want to do something out there. Maybe they want their own podcast um, type of thing. And we all go, oh, that's always been done before, hasn't it? It's always been done. Uh, there's a million uh, personal coaches. How can I compete? And her line is, only you can bring out that service or that product in that unique way that only you can. And so do it. Do it. Don't worry about what's out there now. Now, that's not saying that you shouldn't be prudent about looking at other things and how you spend your money, but you want to move your feet towards your desires. And um, it will create. So through our thoughts, our spoken word, and our actions, and our actions are part of who we are being. And who are you? Who are you? Say it with me. 
You, I, am a divine being. I am an expression of universal love. And so it is. Amen.